Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following. Cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for wear content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, Buddy Mouse 44 here, and I am back for another reaction! And it's time right now we are finally taking a look at the season 7 finale. This is Shadow Play. Not that thing from NVIDIA, but apparently some kind of actual shadowy creature doing some kind of mischief thing. Uh, just took a look at the episode 24, and at the very end, in this mystery barrel thing that Sunburst got, there was some shady-looking dark book that was in the barrel, and some ominous music was playing as it was zooming in on it a little bit, so... Got a feeling that that book is going to be either the cause, or at least related to the problem that's going to be de dealt with in this finale. Uh, upon looking at it just a little bit more before starting this reaction, it kind of gives me a bit of a vibe of Star Swirl the Bearded. I don't know why, but it kind of does. Maybe this is another case where his spells were unfinished, and it gets finished and it ends up being... But it gets finished by someone who's bad? I don't know. But... Somehow or another, I feel like he's involved in this, and that's kind of cool, because I've been wanting to see more uh, Stars World. But otherwise, that's all I have to go on this. I'm very surprised, but I haven't really seen much spoilers for this, so... Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, see what happens in this finale. In 3, 2, 1, go! The best elements within us can right. spread light and virtue. And so I this is a Star Swirl represent them all. Strength, bravery, healing, beauty. Yeah. Hope, and sorcery. Sorcery. Myself and these pillars of Equestria were gathered together cool. by Cool. So these ponies of legends actually made sense. The light of these powerful ideas. Like, like, like continuity. But we soon came to believe the pony who brought us together only wanted that power for himself. Oh. Cast out and alone. This power mad pony turned to darkness to satisfy his thirst. Transformed into a pony of shadows, he returned for revenge. To okay, extinguish so the pillar's light and rob the world of hope. It's not quite to sombre, stop, it looks like it's someone else. The pillars and I must make a brave sacrifice. But we shall leave behind a seed in hopes that one day. It will grow into a force to stand against the darkness for all time. We must now face okay. the fiend with the only plan we have. I only hope it will be enough. That's the last entry. Oh, cool. Maybe he reported Star's it. Maybe Star's final words before he vanished. Yeah, I always buddy. I wondered what happened to Star Swirl. This is quite a discovery, Sunburst. So it's genuine? You can verify that this journal really belonged to Star Swirl the Bearded? Twilight, please Indeed. call him your enthusiasm. The, looks of it, the last thing he wrote before facing the Pony of Shadows. Uh, so the Pony of Shadows was really real? It appears so. We and it's never not Sober. Pillars, and we were too young to understand the danger they faced. Hold on a second now. All those legendary ponies were real too? And they went off with Star Swirl to face the Pony of Shadows, and yes. then none of them were ever heard from again. <laughs> yeah, weren't you listening? Pinky. But what happened to them all? They must have defeated the villain, since Equestria is still full of light and hope. But how? And where did they go? Or My is it a draw? My is a bit rusty, but I wonder if the answers can be found somewhere within the pages of this book. Well, I just happen to be an expert in old ponish. I mean, I practically memorized everything. Sunburst can help. We had this whole episode about that. Is. Seriously, all of them. Uh. We have fond memories of our old teacher. If you could discover what happened to him, we would be most grateful. Yeah! Something a thousands-year-old mystery could take forever. Think of the research, the re-reading, the re-re-reading. Sunburst, please. You might find you need help. Luckily, she's got a whole bushel of helpers right here. Yeah. Totally. Uh, how long will all this research take exactly? Artie, please. Let's get this back to my library. I'm sure we'll figure out what happened in no time. <laughs> I get. I'm, I'm sure you won't. <sighs> figure it out yet, Twilight? If she did, she would have said something, Spike. Uh, what did you figure out? Huh? You figured something out? We 
What is it? <sighs> Nothing. I mean, Star Swirl was a genius, obviously. Yeah. But forget old Ponish. There's parts where his horn writing is like another language. Oh. Twilight. Because it probably we is, or it's not even and his writing. And cross referencing for three days straight now. I haven't spent this much time reading since the last. All these funny stretching and yawning makes me want to yawn. Dang it! It is time to take a break. This mystery is over a thousand years old, after all. Another day or two won't make a difference. Two days? I don't want to waste two seconds. Of course. I'm close to an answer. I can feel it. Herk Sylphum Se Ponehenge. What's that? The Temple of Ponehenge? You can read that? The horn writing's pretty sloppy, but it's nowhere near as bad as mine. Tawar Dul Grimlik of Fola Firgingorg? At the base of Full Mountain, Usur Endemest Shield. <gasps> Our last stand. <sighs> well, that sure sounds like a clue to me. Goodbye, Spike. <laughs> See, something about that whole entire investigation, Starlight wasn't there to help you read. This is it. Ponehenge. I guess she was looking at other books and stuff. I can't believe it. And they're suddenly reinvigorated. Like there you go. Before. Have you? Uh uh. <laughs> I don't picky. think any pony's seen any of this for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Party. It'd take a whole team of ponies to clear away all this brush. Even then, <laughs> I'm not sure we'd find out what happened here over a thousand years. Little flower shy trying to replace that thing she knocked down. Uh, you're right. What's in the well? I suppose it was a long shot. Cheer up, Twilight. Finding a whole set of ancient ruins is pretty impressive. Or maybe you could write a paper on it. I guess I hoped we'd get Little it. Little Timmy ball in the wall again. In the well again. Damn it. Explained. Screw the line. Oh, hey. Uh, Twilight? Uh. Uh. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Okay. Star Swirl's there. Okay, yeah, it's a good thing. Star Swirl? Clearly. I've wanted to meet you my whole life. Here. Is he a projection? Yeah. I don't think he is here. I don't think any of them are. I think this is supposed to be some kind of message. Or a projection as to what happened. <laughs> well? You summoned me at your peril, Star Swirl. Once I defeat all of you. This realm will embrace the darkness, as I did so long ago. <laughs> well... Drawing me here will only make me stronger. You will never defeat me. We did not come here to defeat you. Came here to banish you. Because everything must be banished. We came to contain you. I do not entertain. Oh. So as long as those items are there, he can be sealed off. But the book's gone, or was gone. Um. Huh. Uh, so who uncovered the book and got in the it first looks place? Like Star Swirl cast a spell that banished the Pony of Shadows. Of course, powerful magic like that would leave an impression on this place. Bringing the book back here let us see what happened. Which was what? Star Swirl and the rest of the pillars sacrificed themselves to save Equestria. Yeah. It's amazing to think one of the greatest mysteries of Equestria was solved with but, a musty old book from an antique shop. No, but that but I wouldn't say the book, mystery's solved. Star it's not solved because the book is out, so that means that the spell is weakened and he can get out again, right? Years of study before we fully understand it. So who dug the book up? Star spell. 
Of course, while I, I figured it out Star Swirl spelled before. That's how she got her wings in the first place. Was on a whole different level. Was it an explosion of magical feedback? An evocation? A kind of incantation? It's Star Swirl, so the possibilities are endless. And once Starlight set me on the right track with his crazy horn riding, <laughs> I mean, he was a genius, so I guess we can forgive a little messiness. <laughs> I'll through the journal again, and it's amazing! Did you just Twilight boop AJ riding. with a book? We understand you're excited, but that's all we understand. What exactly is so amazing? Only how Star Swirl and the other pillars sent the Pony of Shadows to limbo. They did what now? They used their magic to open ah. the portal between worlds to limbo and pulled the That's pony of cool. shadows inside. Darling, your diorama! I made more. Oh my gosh. Star Swirl thought the only way to trap <laughs> the pony of shadows well, to limbo prepared, was nothing the pillars else. to take him there. No wonder she was so like they sunburst. got stuck too. The pony of shadows must have been really awful for them to do that. I suppose being trapped for all time with a super duper bad guy in limbo might be okay if you were doing the limbo. <laughs> but that's still pushing it. The thing Pinky, is, please. I think I can get them out. Twilight, are you serious? Getting them out's gonna release the shadow. Ponies of all time? Uh, I don't know. Opening portals between worlds didn't work out well for me. <laughs> right? Are you sure it's safe? Nope. First of all, you opened portals through time. And second of all, Star Swirl wrote the spell you used to do it. If he'd been here, he could have stopped it. Equestria would be safer with him in it. We have to save him. But you'd be saving all the pillars, right? And they disappeared ages ago. That's the thing about Limbo. It isn't one place or another. It's in between. So time stands still. If so they don't age. Out, it'll be like they never left. I actually built another model to demonstrate. Ugh. What can we do to help? If I'm right, we need to find items that are connected to the pillars in some way. You mean like stuff that belonged to them? How would we know what to look for? Okay, well that one needs a shovel. Luckily, Star Swirl took a lot of notes. My compatriots are as varied as the realm itself and hail from every corner of our land, bringing with them artifacts and talismans of great power. Um, uh, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Why are they all there now? Oh, oh the map's showing them. Miss Main's flower. Meadowbrook's mask. And the blindfold Sinatula. Wow, the map got the map got some DLC. I guess we don't need to figure out who should get what. Uh, well then. Belong to Rockhold himself. Legends don't wear helmets. This belonged to a real pony. Oh, I can guarantee Rockhook was as real as you and me. <laughs> and I suppose that Ravine was dug with his trusty shovel to save the village from an erupting volcano. Probably. I love old hmm. legends as much as any pony, but a pony strong enough to save a village from rushing lava with a shovel is preposterous. AJ Falcon Punch it. Get wrecked. I can't believe you just did that. You saved us. I bet if you told some pony else the story, it might sound preposterous. <laughs> Get wrecked! Bro, is this some kind of Indiana Jones I game? I suppose some stories might be true. I mean, the pony reminds me of Indiana Jones a little bit. And Rock Hoofs appears to be one of them. Yay! Alright, we got one of them. It's a trap. Ow! You keep those hooves to yourself, dearie. This place has been oh, hey. my family for generations, and I'm not about to let some whippersnapper take the last good piece of it. Time wise, ponies came from far and wide to see these gardens. Hmm. But that flower's the only worthwhile thing left. Generosity! Knocking at your door! 
So how did you make the grass alive again? Perhaps it just seemed like your gardens were worthless, but a little pruning can work wonders. Uh, of course, you may have to look after more than just one And, and about five pounds of bullshit. You've given me back my family's legacy. The flower you wanted seems like a fair treat for that. Well, this is going along a lot easier than you would expect. Like each of these things thing could be like a whole episode. Equestrian friendship ambassador to the dragons to help you navigate our customs. Like our favorite sport, guard surfing. Oh, what the heck? Oh, then. Okay, that was awesome. Uh oh. Dragon Lord Ember commanded us to make peace with ponies. But it doesn't mean you can surf in our spot. Whoa, fellas! As the official equestrian friendship ambassador to the dragons, I have to say that's not very friendly. Well, what do you know? The puny this guy again? dragon sticking up for his pony pal. Hey, you want to go hug hey, it? Everyone else again? Pony artifact. Hooks off my gorge board. I found it in the desert at Finders Keepers. It isn't. Yours. Huh, it sure looks like mine. But really? I might consider racing you for it. No problem. Um, no. I mean you. <laughs> uh So wait, you're gonna have Spike use that giant thing to surf on. Meanwhile, you, a much bigger dragon, use an itty bitty shield. That makes no sense! You couldn't possibly use that to surf one, it's too small! Come on, Spike, be more elegant. Get fucked. <laughs> I won? I won! Woohoo! Give up the shield, Garbo! He ain't gonna do it. Lord Ember only commanded us to be nice to ponies. She never said anything about pony loving dragons. Get wrecked. Come on, Hardy. Falcon kick him! Uh, Dragon Lord Ember commanded you to make peace with ponies. You can't very well attack one of their friends, can you? Party. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, mother trucker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why Yay. is he always hiding behind ponies? I wasn't hiding when I beat you down the ridge. You fell. Wow. You must be slow if all Spike had to do to win was fall down. I'm fast. Dang. You. Doubt it. Fine. I'll race you back to the top. If you win, you can have your pony junk. But if I win, you'll leave and I get to give it to him. Fine. I'm pretty sure I could beat you anyway. But with that heavy hunk of metal on your back, it'll be a snap. Huh? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the tip. See you at the top, loser. You're an idiot. Bye. You're an idiot. Remember? You are so dumb. Because that's what you said to them when they first showed up. Why are you so angry? <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy again. Just remember not to turn away from them, Cattail. Flashbees can get pretty aggressive. I guess that's why none of the other bayou animals can get to the water. Wow. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to wear the mask that calms the bees? It would, if I didn't have to fly up here to move their hive. There. Now the other bayou creatures can get to the water without the bees feeling threatened. Yay! You no, know, you didn't have to help with this. I would have lent you the mask anyway. I know, <laughs> but I couldn't leave without helping. Aww. I don't think any pony can find anything in there. I wouldn't give up hope just yet. Hey, Darren Dude's helping. Yeah! This old blindfold was stuck in the drain. Weren't you looking for a blindfold? Oh, yeah. Uh, are you sure you want to be putting that in your mouth? I can't believe I'm going to meet Star Swirl the Bearded. 
you know, outside of my dreams. Uh, I can't believe you're actually going through with it. Can't what say that's actually safe. I'm all for pushing the envelope, obviously, but <laughs> it's pretty out there for you, Twilight. What's out there about saving the most legendary ponies of all time from a thousands-year-old prison? Well, nothing when you say it like that. Unless the most legendary ponies of all time knew what they were doing, and we shouldn't mess with it. I'm inclined I'm to sure agree. Star Swirl and the Pillars did the best they could back then, but magic has come a long way, mostly because of the work they did. That's I, true, and you did get your wings I'm, from I'm, I'm the almost Starlight's side here. Exactly. But then I messed with one and nearly destroyed the universe, so... Starlight, Star Swirl the Bearded is the greatest wizard who ever lived. The chance to have him back in Equestria is worth the risk. That's good news. I'm, but the problem is that some of that writing isn't his writing. It's probably the Pony of Shadows thing. This here shovel says otherwise. Honestly, you two. Not everything is a competition. But Miss Mane's flower is by far the most attractive of the artifacts. You just seen that because you didn't have to scuba dive in a pit of green slime to get yours. You didn't even clean yours. Flash behind. Good work, everyone. Good job, gang. Let's do this. But it's a good thing that Thumper somehow found his from a mystery peril. We're not even going to explain how the heck that book was found in the first place. Aside from it being in the barrel. Like, who put it in the barrel? How did that person who put it in the barrel find it? Etc. Jesus! What? What has happened? It worked! We brought you back! You brought back the Where? shadow you and the as well. Been trapped in limbo for over a thousand years, but I figured out how to get you home. What? No, 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 no. You must undo what you've done. Yep. What? Why? I mean, I don't think I can. You cannot bring us back. But I did. I brought all the pillars back. You cannot bring only the pillars back. Fucked up! <laughs> All right! Your pitiful attempt to imprison me has failed, Star Swirl. I think that stupid thing on his head is really distracting. You must return us to Limbo. It's the only way to stop him. I only figured out how to bring you back. Working on it. No table of contents. Allow me to assist. Well. Those are some pretty sharp shadow wings. And there goes your book. There! Without the power of Bonehenge, your banishing spell is useless. You have studied my writings. Surely you have some other plan. No, I just wanted to save you. I didn't think- Don't fret. When I extinguish the light and hope of this miserable world, you won't remember any of this. No! This one is almost as strong as you, Stars, were. But even in my weakened state, she cannot stop the might of shadows. Lucky for her, she's not alone. Damn right. Push him back, push him back, push him back. Know this, fiend. We will not rest until we find a way to return you to Limbo. He's gonna return. Limbo! Your days of glory are through, Starswell. Now my dark power will reign, and you six will bow to me! There's a lot more than six there now. Um, where'd he go? That is a riddle we must unravel, and quickly. How long I actually like seeing that gone? one. Over a thousand years. Then my spell worked, before it was meddled with, and the realm has been at peace oh, for millennia. Help! We did have to save everybody from Nightmare Moon and Discord and Chrysalis and King Sombra and Lord T-Rex and there was that one time when Starlight traveled through time and almost destroyed life as we know it! <laughs> <laughs> His face! If you were truly this accomplished, we will stop the Pony of Shadows twice as fast together. We shall see. It is an easy thing to say you have saved the world, 
It is quite another to do it. Oh, we've saved the world, Beardo. And we can do it again. Be that as it may, the problem of locating the Pony of Shadows remains. And this land is vast. It sounds like you need a map. Luckily, we have just the thing. Twilight, show the map. Something about this magic seems familiar. Oh. Did you know he can do that? He's Star Swirl. He can do anything. <laughs> He's not Jesus. This map and indeed this very castle are grown from the seed we planted over a thousand years ago. Then it did work. Uh, what worked? Each of us infused a crystal seed with our magic in hopes that it would grow into a force for good. We wanted to leave something to protect the realm in our absence, but we never dreamed our gift would become so powerful. Yay! You all mean the elements came from you? You know, the sparkly crystal things that grow from the tree of harmony and represent each of us? Laughter, honesty, generosity. Of course, you had to hug her butt in order to do that. Kindness and magic. Magic missile. They are reflections of our own elements of hope, strength, <coughs> beauty, bravery, yeah. healing, yeah. and sorcery. Yeah. <laughs> we had no idea our small seed would bloom like the living spirit of the I can take like it. I am glad our mantles have passed to such yeah. capable ponies. More importantly, we no longer need Ponehenge to send our foe back to Limbo. We can use the stored magic in this tree of harmony. But doesn't a banishing spell take a lot of power? We'd have to sacrifice the elements for that. Mm -hmm. They'd be gone forever? Star Swirl, Wait, what? I don't think the tree can survive without the elements. If it dies, Equestria will suffer. If the Pony of Shadows has his way, your land will not exist. So, unless you have a better idea... And time is of the essence. Hello! Seek dark places from which to draw power. I will prepare my spell so that we may strike as soon as you find him. What are we waiting for? I like your spirit. Of course you do, because you are just like each other. And Twilight is gonna freaking go die in a corner because she is so freaking depressed and feels so bad. Pony etiquette isn't gonna help right now, Spike. Uh, Twilight, are you okay? No. I just unleashed ultimate evil and doomed Equestria because I was obsessed with meeting my idol. Why wouldn't I be okay? Good. You didn't know that was going to happen. But I should have listened did. to you and left things alone. Now the elements of harmony will be lost to fix my mistake. Maybe there's another way. If there is, Twilight will find it. Uh, that's not pressure. Portal gate, portal keys, portal spells. Yes! If the pillars portal. can hold open the gateway to Limbo, a powerful pony can do the vanishing spell herself. Do you know what this means? Nope. I can stop carrying books. The pillars don't have to leave Equestria. Even though we'll lose the elements, we'll have the ponies that created them, and the Pony of Shadows will be banished for good. That's great. But I was thinking of another way that maybe doesn't involve banishing at all. Star Swirl knew what he was doing when he cast that uh, spell. If I can make it even better, you're gonna try and somehow reform that as thing. Seriously, as he does. Are you gonna somehow try and reform it seems this? the dark place that Starswell indicated on the map have changed. I bet the Pony of Shadows would have loved the ghastly caverns before a thousand years of erosion turned it into the ghastly gorge. The Appaloosian wastes sure sounded dark and desolate. Who knew they would become such a popular square dancing destination? And I get how this part of the quest used to be cast in Eternal Night, where the Pony of Shadows could draw power and wreak Thank havoc you. while ponies were powerless to stop them. But come here, come back. Didn't I get it really bright? Piggy, it's the world kind of dark. It seems there are fewer dark corners in the realm these days. Isn't that a good thing? True. The Pony of Shadows will have a hard time regaining power. When he rears his head, we'll be ready. Let's do our such BFS now. <laughs> oh, I wish there were. But to save our home, we are willing to leave it. 
I don't think you'll have to. My spell isn't finished yet, but I think we can send the Pony of Shadows to Limbo without all of you having to go as well. While I appreciate your Read it. enthusiasm, Twilight, this is hardly the time to take risks on half-baked spells. <laughs> Begging your pardon, Mr. The Bearded, but Twilight doesn't do anything halfway. Especially not magic. Seriously, she got her wings by finishing one of your spells. Yeah. I think you'll find her work is worth reading before you dismiss it out of hook. While it is an unconventional approach, I believe it could work. Hmm. I suppose there is a chance. But we still have. I like how un where to how little he villain. cares that she finished a spell that he couldn't. Hello. Uh, what? Maybe we should try there. Yeah. Thank you, map. <laughs> Thank you, plot device, for helping oh, us. I think a branch of the Apple family lives there. Uh, they have to be pretty distant. The Hollow Shades was abandoned eons ago. Hmm, that's odd. The only time the maps called all of us to one place was Starlight's Village. So it's like a supervillain tracker! No offense. <laughs> Do you think the map could be trying to tell us where the Pony of Shadows is? Hmm. The Tree of Harmony acting to protect the light of the realm. Yes, a good thought, Twilight. Right. <laughs> Look at that face! That face is so cute! Uh, I know I'm not as experienced as all of you, but is banishment really the only option? I mean, it's been a long time. Maybe the Pony of Shadows is ready to talk? I doubt we can save our homeland with a conversation. But we could try. Starlight, I'm sure Stars Will and the others did try. The Pony of Shadows was not interested in reconciliation. Once a villain, always a villain. Twilight, Sunburst, would you accompany me? I wish to refine this spell for our use. Come, we must prepare for the struggle ahead. For the struggle ahead. I know Star Swirl is a great wizard, but this whole plan seems wrong. The maps only ever sent us to solve friendship problems. Yeah. Maybe so. But I the agree. Of shadows doesn't really seem like the friendship type. Honestly, we don't know anything about yeah. it. Yeah. No pony. We're halfway through this episode. That's not entirely true. Are we are we really gonna end this? Like, this feels like there should be like another epi episode or two still. Before he became what he is now. You must have been friends, so what happened? The tale of our rift is a sad one. Oh thank god, it's the backstory. Holy crap! What the frick? There, this is from Rainbow. It, what? It, it, it's from the. It's from Rainbow Rocks. They're canon. Stygian was a pony like the rest of us, though more scholar than hero. He recognized our emerging world would need champions to defend it. Are you kidding me? They're freaking. All right. Well, this is something. So let me guess, your spell banished them to the Equestria Girl realm. And that's how they got to Equestria, uh, to the Equestria Girl's realm. But he himself was just an ordinary unicorn who soon grew jealous of our abilities. He stole objects from each of us. Artifacts to use in a spell. And we cast him out for it. We always thought to return and seek forgiveness. But when we saw him again, his heart was bent on revenge. Ew! He dashed even my hope of saving him. But why did he steal the artifacts from you? No doubt it was an enchantment to take our powers for himself. Hmm. Like, how did he even get that darkness power? That looks like a lot of work. It is what must be done, and it would be best if we were not disturbed. I'm sorry, Starlight, but we can't stop the talk. The stakes are too high, and we have to banish Stygian to limbo. I get it. Uh, who? Stygian was the name the Pony of Shadows gave up when he turned to darkness. And I'm just trying to figure out why. Envy. He wanted more power than he had, 
and that desire led him down a path from which there is no return. And Starlight seems convinced that's not true. I know from experience that's not always true. When the map called you six to my village, it was for a friendship problem. Are you sure this is different? I... Stygian wants to destroy all that is good in this world. There's no way to befriend a pony like that. I guess I'm lucky your idol wasn't around when you decided to be my friend. I might have been banished to Limbo too. Dang. Yeah, I feel for you, Starlight. I, I do. It was pretty crushing. So long ago. It seems a shame to harm it. A necessary sacrifice. With the element's power, we will bind the Pony of Shadows in Limbo. And thanks to Twilight, we will remain to watch over the realm ourselves. Yeah, but... Exactly how much power do the others have nowadays? I mean, like... That one's, like, really old. Like her. She's, like, super old. She looks like she's gonna keel over any moment. How do we use them? Well, you... Oh, I'm not sure. They simply work for us. The elements are attuned to you. We must use their magic in pairs. No problem. We're used to banishing evil before breakfast. Seriously, It'll these be two. An honor to save Equestria with y'all. I have a feeling that those two are gonna get shipped. Twilight knows what she's doing. I have a feeling those two are pretty well shipped out nowadays. And I just uh, happen I to be tuned out of it. Reading anything that says the Hollow Shades was like this. Oh. The Pony of Shadows must have twisted it to his purposes. So many ponies to combat one enemy. Prepare yourselves. He is here. Really? Stygian, show what gave it away? Is he gonna come out of the well? Uh, or he can bring the well to you! Remembered reading about this. <laughs> what the crap is that door? Welcome to the well of shame. When you turned your backs on me, I discovered this place. Well, the darkness spoke to me of a power beyond any I could imagine, and I listened. The shadow and I became one. So of course. <laughs> all of the realm will be the same. Then all ponies will feel the despair I did when you cast me out. We did what we had to do. You tried to steal our powers for yourself. No, it was you who were selfish. Now you will pay. Are you still sure this isn't a friendship problem? Ready? Open the portal. Now. Everyone's all about it, except for now, Twilight and Starlight. No! You will not trap me again! Twilight, push him in! Huh? There's a pony in there! Get him out, get him out, get him out! Oh my gosh, you- what? You went in him! Are you Stygian? I was, once, until my friends betrayed me. But Star Swirl says you betrayed them. You wanted their magic. No, I wanted their respect. I brought them together. I planned strategy and I read all I could about the beasts we faced. Right. I didn't have magic or strength, so no pony ever noticed me. I went to Ponehenge to make my own copies of the artifacts. With them, I thought I could be a pillar too and stand by their side in battle. I never wanted to steal their power. But instead of sharing and letting me help, my friends threw me out. So I became stronger than any of them. The darkness welcomed me when no pony would. I will do what I must to protect it. This is all a misunderstanding. If the pillars knew how you felt, I'm sure they wouldn't have turned their backs on you. Yeah. The shadow isn't who you really are. Let me help you be Stygian again. Even if my friends did still care, what makes you think you have the power to help me? Because it's what she does. I wasn't so hey, sorry. And Twilight helped me change. If there's one pony in Equestria that can save a friendship, it's her. I I want to believe you. 
but I don't. The darkness will not be stopped. Yank his ass out of there. Fight the darkness, Stygian. You don't need it anymore. Revenge isn't what you want. Friendship is. Twilight! Come on, yank her out too. Come on. There you go. You're kind of he yanking stop, him out of himself. Then we must help him. Oh, now you're on the same page! There you go, now put that stupid thing in the hole. Alright, so now that thing's in a question your goal realm. Cool! So now the Pony of Shadows is now officially in the world of Equestria Girls. Noted. Equestria Girls 4? Yeah! Oh, it felt so good to do that again! Friendship Power Rush! Woo! Whoa! The elements! <laughs> they didn't disappear! Maybe because we used them for healing magic instead of vanishing? Look! I don't... Long ago, you needed our help, Stygian. But instead of listening, we turned our backs on you. Pride clouded my judgment. I owe you an apology. Thank you for helping us see the errors of our ways, Twilight. So they're all sticking around now? Accounted for the magic of friendship. Thank you, Swirl Star. Swirl Star. Oh, that blush. <clears throat> Swirl Star. So, apparently a conversation can save Equestria? <laughs> Something tells me I will be making a lot of apologies today. Yes, you will. I simply cannot believe how tall you've gotten. Well, it has been over a thousand years. Will you stay here and teach magic once again? My sister and I have such fond memories of your lessons. As long as you don't ask for those essays we owed you before you disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not certain Cantalot is where I belong. The realm has grown, and I believe I'll have a look around before I settle in any one place. And I long to see what has become of my home. Okay, so they're all just gonna wander. We all do. Then I hope you will return to Canterlot on occasion and share the wisdom of your great experience with the next generation of ponies. We would be honored, but if it is wisdom you seek, look no further than your own pupil. She showed me that the power of friendship is a magical force indeed. And that oh my gosh, Starlight's heart's gonna melt. Hurt yourself as well. Hogs. It's funny. I thought meeting my idol would give me all the answers I ever wanted, but instead, I forgot what I already knew. Good thing I had a student of my own to remind me. Yay! And season seven comes to a close. Nothing like a very short confrontation to end the season it was a lot more prep work and stuff like that but in the end star swirl the mother freaking bearded is back and so are the other ponies of legend and they're here to stay they're not just they're not just a case of hi we're here now bye we're gone now hope you enjoyed our 10 minutes of screen time no they're actually here to stay and chill now we probably won't be seeing them very often because they're now going with this cheesy thing of, oh, we're going to go explore the land, mostly because we don't want to have to write new scripts for all these other characters now. Ah! <laughs> we have information on Star Wars World now. We know that he didn't actually know jack shit when it came to friendship. Though, to be fair, we kind of knew that a little bit earlier, given the spell that Twilight solved in order to get our wings in Season 3. But... We have a better idea as to what his character is like now. He didn't have the answer to everything. He didn't have the answer to everything. He had the answer to some things. He was pretty knowledgeable. But he wasn't perfect. He wasn't... Like I said, he, he, it's not Jesus. He's not, he's not perfect. He has his flaws. And Twilight was able to help fix some of those flaws. And he was pretty stubborn, actually. That was one thing that he really was. He was very stubborn and not... Like, the point that he was saying that conversations won't fix a problem, 
he was talking to Starlight, and that was pretty freaking fitting, considering that's pretty much what ended up being what got her to stop in the first place. When she was doing her thing, so it's kind of funny him talking to her about that. But, oh man. What was that guy's name again? Uh, the one that already was hanging out with, was that like a Flash? Flash Magnus? Is that what it was? Something like that. Uh, I don't know. The guy, the, po the yellow pony who had the shield. Those two are definitely going to get shipped together. They absolutely are, because they are very compatible. They are, they click a lot. They are just like each other. And it, it, it makes sense, because as Star Wars said, the, spe uh, the uh, elements of harmony seem to be based off of the, uh, or not Star Wars said it. Did Star Wars say it? No, or was that other, that other pony, the one who dealt with the Sphinx? Uh, that one said that it was related to their traits, like hope and uh, sorcery and stuff like that. Like, they're kind of related or intertwined, so of course they would pretty much be related to each other. And all of them had a very strong click with each other, except for Twilight and Star Swirl at first, because Twilight's spell and, and tunnel vision to save her idol uh, led to that problem in the first place. But now that we got that whole mess cleared up and we retrieved the missing pony out of that shadow, everything seems to be all hunky-dory now. We have the elements still. Star Swirl and the other ponies of Legend are back. And... Pretty much, like, the only enemy that we know of that still exists is Chrysalis. Like, every other bad entity that we can even think of is gone. So, there can't, there, I don't know what, like, this show is definitely being set up to end. And I've been hearing rumors about Generation 4 possibly ending uh, within, like, the coming season or two, which is a bit upsetting. I'm gonna be honest. It, it is kind of upsetting, but if they end up going to make another generation of ponies afterwards, like a generation five, as long as the art style and stuff doesn't look really stupid and they actually can, you know, create more stories and stuff like that, and they don't completely ditch the characters of season four, but like at least reference them or something like that. Not make everything that we know so far an uncanon to Generation 5's universe kind of thing. I would actually be okay with it. It would be a really weird change to go from the Gen 4 style to Gen 5. I'm sure because of how many years we've been used to this one, but... With how much stuff has been going on these last couple seasons, like, it really does seem like they're trying to wrap it all up and say, like, we have happy endings. Like, they're, like we, there's not a lot of potential problems left. It's crazy. But, um, yeah, so... Season 8 is, uh... I don't know when Season 8 is supposed to come out, but I heard that it's been leaked for a while now, but I'm not going to be watching any of that until it officially airs because I still support the official release and I intend to do so still. So until they start airing officially, that is going to be it, everyone. So I thank y'all for watching and uh, when season eight reactions start coming around, things might be a bit different in terms of how these episode reactions are going. All of these last few episode reactions have been recorded in a row and, uh, it's obviously, it's not going to be very great in terms of how they look and stuff like that, but by the time that I get to see season eight, I'm hoping that I will have a much more comfortable format to work with, and hopefully you guys will enjoy how it ends up becoming. But for now, that's going to be it, so thank you all for watching, and until season eight starts, officially, this is Brody My 24 saying, see you guys later.